What's up everybody? So this is video series part number two when I was a kid, okay? So if you haven't seen number one, you can go watch it. I'll put it in the description. Um, so this is what I made. This is thing number two when I was a kid, number two, okay? And this is what I built, okay? Um, trying to think what, what grade I was in. Probably between middle school and high school. Yeah, I'm thinking it was. I think it. I'm thinking it was middle school actually. Um, this is what I built. Okay, I built a full size hovercraft with a uh, 3.5 Briggs and Stratton um, lawnmower motor, and you could sit on it and ride it down the driveway. So this was my prototype. Okay, this is a hovercraft that I built out of scrap pieces. All right, now. Um, this battery pack is just something I had used. I originally used the battery pack that was in this RC car that I took apart. And uh, if you remember these, they were called canned heat. And they were little bitty tiny RC cars in a can. You bought them in a can. They were pretty cool. Um, so that's what this is built out of. Now this is, this is, was my prototype design. Okay, this, this motor here is out of a hair dryer. And I reworked the motor in the housing with the other uh, hair dryer. This isn't the original hair dryer motor. This is a lower voltage DC motor, uh, not the, the higher voltage uh, DC motor. Then I've got two switches here. One turns on the circuitry for the uh, controls and one turns on the fan. And I had this hooked up. I got two switches because I had this hooked up at one time so I could charge it by just plugging it in, but I don't remember what happened there. Um, it's been too long. It's been a long time ago. So, really quickly, I think it's on. It is on. Okay. So, really quickly, let me show you what I got. I got here a piece of plastic. This plastic actually came out of a flat panel TV. Probably one of the first ones I've ever taken apart. So, that's where the plastic came from. On the bottom side here, you can see I have a... Uh, maybe that's why it doesn't work very well. I got hot glue all over it. You can see I've got a hole in the bottom. And what's interesting is I've got... Uh, little strings are tied to the inside of this bag all right that only allow this to come up so far and that's it they don't come up any farther than that okay so that's one thing that I had to design in because what would happen is it would fill up and the bag would fill up and it would just fall over and couldn't figure it out and that was actually what I used to keep the skirt stable at the time that is a bread bag um, with a lot of tape around it so um, really quickly let me show you get you a little bit closer here let me show you what the back of it was alright this is just a fan okay from a hobby toy of some sort I think one of those rubber band roll up things that's what this was a uh, little RC motor the receiver from the car that I had taken out of this RC car um, and then again I used the original battery pack but I don't have that today. I think it was a higher voltage, so it doesn't work quite as it should. Um, this is the drive servo. Um, actually, it's probably just a motor, DC motor, one way, one way, one way, the other way. It doesn't have a, like a feedback. It's just a DC motor hooked up to a couple of gears. And I can actually control the rudders. Yes, these are Mountain Dew cans, okay? Mountain Dew cans along with some darts. I used to do blow darts. I love them. And uh, hooked to some fishing string. And those things all just move together with hot glue. Alright, you can see. So that's how I controlled the, the rudder. And then the fan on the back was just... Oh, well, you can go backwards. Forward and backwards. Wow, maybe I got them blades on backwards. Seems like it goes a lot faster the other way. I think I do. Oh well. That's what I get for being a kid, learning every day. Uh, this looks like, uh, this here looks like a piece of aluminum, uh, tin, that you'd make like a roofing sh siding, uh, something like that. This brace, this bracket here, I'm pretty sure came out of the TV. The flat panel TV, it was the rim that went around it. And everything's just being held together with a little random wire and tape and hot glue. And uh, so let's, uh, that's how, that's how that works. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and turn it on. Now, this battery pack isn't, 
isn't good enough, but it will float. So let's go ahead and see what it does. So, so it, it does float. The, the problem that I'm having right now is when I turn this motor on, it will not, uh, it, it kills it. Okay, we'll try it. Yeah. That's because I don't have the right battery pack. But you can see it, it does, uh, it does work. It does float. And I did play with it. Now, I did build a bigger one of these, um, but it's out at my dad's house, so I'll have to grab it another day and show you. But, uh, yeah, so that's uh, device number two, when I was a kid. I really like it. I think it's pretty cool. I definitely got those blades on backwards. I know the DC motor runs the other way, or one's reverse. I don't know. Anyway, there it is. Uh, <sighs> device uh, when I was a kid, number two. Let's go to number three. I got some fun high voltage stuff to play with. I really like this one. This one's pretty complex. Um, yeah. Peace and love. RWG Research is my website. You want to check it out. And I have all the other videos there along with all my other research. So, all right, let's move on to the next thing. Awesome sauce.